In the eighth year of manned flight into space, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration prepared men and equipment for the most advanced manned mission to date. You have to remember the year of Apollo 8. Vietnam unpopular war was going on, uh, riots in the streets, two assassinations. If the country was in very bad mood and it really needed something to bring it up, something they could look forward to, something they could be proud of. And this is exactly what happened uh, in the Apollo 8 mission. The CIA had the word that the Russians were going to try to do it before the end of the year. 400,000 people that put that thing together and made it work was an incredible performance on a part of America. And uh, we beat the Russians. Two, one. Zero. We have commit. We have. We have this was the first flight on the Saturn V manned. This was the first time humans had left Earth orbit. First time they'd gone to uh, their nearest neighbor in the solar system. While there, Frank uh, had uh, chosen to read from the uh, book of Genesis. And the, earth, and the Earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep which really uh, not only shocked people, but really caught their attention. So there was a lot about Apollo 8 that was a blow to the uh, emotional folks on the ground uh, listening to it. And God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. These two talented guys, uh, I'm just proud that I was able to fly with them because uh, it was a, a tough job done in four months, and we did a good job. Yeah, look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. You got a color film, Jim? Bill took the picture with a with a 250 millimeter lens, right? And he didn't want me to take. And <laughs> colored film. Well, in one one picture, it told the whole story of Apollo 8 and the people of the Earth. You've taken us, taken all of us, all over the world into a new era. The Apollo 8 and the Apollo program was a uniquely American program. It didn't have a lot of international input. And uh, when we came to the, uh, the moon and, uh, and Apollo 11, finally, we came for all mankind. The Americans came for all mankind. As I look down at the Earth, which is about the size of your fist at arm's length, I'm thinking, you know, this is not a very big place. Uh, why can't we get along? And I must say that the situation has gotten worse uh, since Apollo. You know, we ought to go as human beings. Somewhere along the line, I, uh, though I'm not a poet, I managed to say that uh, to me it was strange that we uh, had worked and come all the way to the moon to study the moon, and what we really discovered was the Earth. Exactly.